but do you guys ever find that you buy a bag and then like really shortly after like another bag pops up and you're like oh gosh I wish I got that instead hey guys welcome to my channel I'm Jess so I've had a few of you guys ask me how do I save up for my handbags and if I have any tips and recommendations for you I am someone who is a little bit too in love with handbags and I have always been kind of into shopping and fashion and you know when I went to uni I started studied fashion design and every day I would go to the shoe store near my uni which was like a discount shoe store like a five dollar shoe store and it was really embarrassing because I would always come to class and like with a new pair of like ten dollar or five dollar shoes and I people in the class would always think like I was just shopping again but I've always been a little bit addicted to shopping um, ever since I could work. So when I get asked the question, how do I save money for handbags? It's honestly just my drive to buy them that I think makes me be able to get them basically. So I've, ugh, guys, like recently I've been selling a lot of my handbags and, you know, they've kind of helped fund new bags. But I wouldn't necessarily recommend uh, going down the same path as me. I, I find it actually quite exhausting buying and selling bags all the time. And although it has actually given me content to talk about on my channel by default, um, it's something that I probably would have done even if I didn't have a YouTube channel because I am just that into buying stuff. And I've always been like that with uh, fashion and collecting things, but when it comes down to luxury handbags, I think for some people it can be a little bit of a dangerous territory. I'm not an expert on this topic. I'm still trying to find my own way in life. And there's probably people who watch my channel who are multi-millionaires and I'm not going to sit here and tell you guys how to save money for a handbag because there's so many people who are a lot more money savvy than me. Uh, similarly, there's probably people who watch my channel who are probably in debt and using a lot of credit cards and I'm not going to sit here and say, you know, you shouldn't use credit cards and you should never buy a bag if you can't afford to buy it five times. Like... That's also, it's not for me to judge what's going on in your life. In my real life, guys, like, I, go, I guess I just, like, work all the time. And I don't think that's funny either. Like, I'm not going to tell you guys, you know, just work your whole life and to save for these bags. Because that's also not really, like, is that even good advice? I think if you're trying to save money, it's, like, honestly, probably shouldn't be buying handbags. But... I'm not going to tell you what you should do or what you shouldn't do. I feel like I need a beauty filter because I have a pimple here, but I don't know, guys. I don't have touch-up stuff, so I'm just going to do my little mini daily vlog thing that I've been doing lately. And I wanted to share with you a little story um, from the other day. Um, I'm currently working at a second-hand <laughs> handbag store, and, well, a lady came in and she was absolutely gorgeous guys like I think she was a bit older maybe in her 50s or 60s but she had amazing amazing fashion sense and style guys like I could tell she was really thoughtful about what she wears and she just had great style and even just the way that she carried she just had great you know you can just tell when someone has great style she looked amazing she came in and asked if she could have a little look at a bag and the bag, you know, it was a, it's a good choice, very neutral piece, and she tried it on, it obviously looked perfect on her. And, you know, I just let her go have a look, and she was kind of trying it on in the mirror for a pretty long time, like maybe even 20 minutes. And then she said thank you, and, you know, she left, and then she came back with her partner, and um, their partner was saying, oh my gosh, yeah, it looks so amazing on you it's it ticks all the boxes like it's modern it goes with your whole look I was like it, it looks really good but I wasn't saying much because you know I, I want her to fall in love with the bag I don't want to tell her whether she should buy it or not but it did honestly look amazing on her um it was the perfect size the perfect strap length for her like it was just perfect and then she said something that really made me think she said I really love it but what if a better bag comes along and you know I've already bought this one and then I said back well you can just buy the other bag as well why don't you just have both if you see a better bag and she was like huh she kind of laughed but it made me think it kind of made me reflect on myself because 
I find that I often will buy a bag and then not long after an even better bag will come along and then I'll be like oh gosh I should have bought this bag and then I'll just end up buying both bags and I think if you're someone who gets into the habit of collecting handbags you often fall into this trap of continuously buying things because you're never really satisfied with the previous bag you got or you, you might find something that's even better and like for example I don't know guys like even when I sell my bag sometimes I find that I'll, I'll let go of a bag that you know I kind of like still liked but I, I find that sometimes letting things go it opens up the opportunity for something even better to come along and honestly that has been the case for me you know I've sold um, some really beautiful bags guys and you know I think if I didn't sell those bags I possibly wouldn't have bought some of the bags that I have today and I know they're just handbags guys but I honestly think that sometimes if you say no to something it does open up the opportunity for something better to come along and I think that lady even though she did like that bag she was worried that by saying yes to that bag it might mean saying no to a future bag that is even better but how do you even know what will be a better bag in the future like I don't even know what the perfect bag is like for me I, I'm always collecting bags and I, I, I'm currently in a phase where I feel like I don't know like I, I never feel like I have enough bags to be honest I never feel like I found mm, bag piece I guess and I always feel like there will be a better bag to come along and I guess I don't know I wonder I mean she did end up buying the bag and she was very happy um, but you know she was a bit older as well so who knows but I do wonder like what if she does find a better bag and then she would have already bought this one like would she regret buying this bag I don't think she will because it did look really good on her and um her partner said it looked amazing on her so I'm sure that she'll use it but do you guys ever find that you buy a bag and then like really shortly after like another bag pops up and you're like oh gosh I wish I got that instead actually it's happened to me a few times like I found a bag on eBay or something and I've missed out on it and then I have regrets for like not bidding on it or you know something's popped up on the secondhand market and I it's like the bag that got away but then usually something better comes along eventually so I mean if you're trying not to buy a bag guys sometimes um, I remind myself you know this bag got away but there's always probably going to be something better that comes along but there have been a few bags that I guess I have bought or like not bought and they were like really awesome to be honest so you can't really win can you but yeah I know sometimes I just fall into the habit of buying bags that I because I feel like I'll regret not buying it but maybe I should think about it the reverse way around what am I saying no to by saying yes to this bag this is my outfit of the day I'm wearing just a plain beige jumper my Kelly 28 with a little pink twilly. Um, just wearing some like legging pants with splits and my Gany boots. I really like these. I've had these for a few years. Um, it's a really comfy outfit. So yeah, it's kind of like wearing pajamas or sportswear, but I think because it's neutral colors, I can kind of get away with it. Thought I'd make this video today and hope you enjoyed it. And uh, please like and subscribe to my channel if you enjoy handbag videos and I'll talk to you next time. Bye!